In today's video, let's delve into some secret features added to ChatGPT that many have overlooked. This update is significant and understanding its implications is crucial. You'll grasp the importance once you hear Sam Allman's conversation. One intriguing tweet caught my attention recently, posted by Testing Catalog. It highlighted the personalization aspect of ChatGPT. Previously, there was a different user interface and text box for this feature. Now, there's a new text box under the Personalization tab. However, it's essential to note that this personalization feature is only rolling out to a select few. OpenAI tends to test features in batches randomly. While some may have the chance to test beta features, rare ones like this often appear randomly in some accounts. The new feature was hinted at in a blog post following the GPT store launch. Although the exact post isn't readily available, tweets from Greg Brockman and other OpenAI employees confirm its authenticity. This update isn't temporary. It's a real progression. Comments made by Sam Allman in a recent interview with Bill Gates validate that this is the gradual update they've been discussing, hinting at where they're heading. So, keep an eye out for these advancements in ChatGPT. An additional feature that caught my attention is the Manage Memory functionality. From the screenshot I'll link in the description below, you can see the Manage Memory feature highlighted. It indicates that as you interact with ChatGPT, the details and preferences it remembers will be displayed here. This feature seems to offer insight into what ChatGPT remembers about us. It's intriguing because it allows us to gauge how accurately the AI system recalls information from our conversations. Moreover, it gives us the ability to correct any mistakes by deleting or editing entries. Being able to visualize what the AI system knows about us is beneficial. It enables us to assess its performance, see if it remembers certain details accurately, and even understand how it infers information from our conversations. It's an interesting concept that adds depth to our interactions with ChatGPT. If you're feeling a sense of deja vu about this memory feature, you're not mistaken. What you might have seen earlier is likely an earlier version of the screenshot. Tia Blaho shared a tweet containing a video recording showcasing an early iteration of OpenAI's memory management system back in November. While it's uncertain if they're currently using the same system, it's evident that there have been developments. In the earlier iteration, users had several options available within the memory management system. However, these features may have evolved since then. The current delay in releasing the next model, whether it's DPT 4.5 or GPT-5, could be attributed to refining features like memory management. OpenAI is likely assessing the most effective methods for implementation given the various possibilities and functionalities the system offers. In the screenshot, you can also notice the temporary chat not in history and blank state with no model training sections. These were present before and garnered attention when someone viewed the source code of the web page revealing these details. It's intriguing to see how ChatGPT and OpenAI incorporate such features, hinting at ongoing developments behind the scenes. Before delving further into these memory updates, let me share an interesting interview that sheds more light on the subject. In this interview, Sam Allman talks about where ChatGPT is heading over the next couple of years. It's a big deal because it helps us understand the recent changes better. Before, I didn't really get how it all connected during the interview with Bill Gates, but now it's starting to make sense. And personalization will also be very important. People want a very different, very different things out of GPT-4, different styles, you know, different sets of assumptions. We'll make all that possible. And then also the ability to have it use your own data. So the ability to know about you, your email, your calendar, how you like appointments booked, connected to other. Altman talks about how ChatGPT is becoming more personalized. That means it's getting better at remembering things and adapting to your needs. This matches up with the updates we're seeing, even if they're not calling it GPT 4.5 just yet. It's like they're making small improvements step by step. Listening to this clip helps us see why ChatGPT is changing. It's not just about making a big splash with a brand new model like GPT 5. 
Instead, they're adding things bit by bit to make the transition smoother. This gradual approach helps prevent any big surprises and keeps things steady. Adding features like memory management and better personalization little by little shows that OpenAI is taking a smart and careful approach to making ChatGPT better. This is the part where Sam Altman discusses how the updates to ChatGPT will happen gradually over time. Instead of one big change all at once, they're making smaller updates bit by bit. This is why we're certain that iterative deployment will become a standard practice. Personally, I'm committed to keeping a close eye on every small update happening with ChatGPT. I'll be scouring Twitter and Reddit regularly to catch any new features as they slowly roll out. These updates are fascinating because they provide insight into the direction we're headed. It's clear that ChatGPT is just the beginning of a much larger AI system and ecosystem. The future will likely see completely personalized versions, moving away from the standardized ChatGPT we have now. I also believe that it will bear resemblance to something like MemGPT. MemGPT was designed to enhance the performance of large language models by introducing a more advanced memory management scheme. This approach aimed to overcome the limitations posed by fixed context windows by granting the AI system the ability to manage its own memory, handle interruptions, and maintain virtual context management. The idea behind MemGPT has sparked the next wave of advancements. Given the reception of devices like R1, it's evident that well-executed personalized AI systems will surpass simple chatbots they'll offer more than just straightforward responses, evolving into sophisticated entities capable of understanding and adapting to our needs. And if you're eager to test out these upcoming features like GPT+, there are a couple of steps you'll need to take. Firstly, ensure that you're subscribed to ChatGPT's Plus tier. This means upgrading your plan to the $1.20 per month tier, as this is the only tier that grants access to experimental features. Once you've upgraded, head to your settings and navigate to the Beta Features tab. Here, you'll find a section specifically for Plus users, offering early access to experimental features. Keep in mind that these features are subject to change during development. It seems that OpenAI's roadmap involves thoroughly testing these features, such as memory management and enhanced personalization, before any major releases like GPT 4.5 or GPT 5. This approach aims to ensure a more balanced and refined output, focusing on improving memory capabilities and personalization, which are likely to play a significant role in the future of ChatGPT. What are your thoughts on all of this? How do you envision the future of ChatGPT or even OpenAI in general? Make sure you leave a comment and check out the video on your screen right now. I worked hard on it. See you there.